Welcome to episode 553, Tom Siebel, from Cowboy to King of Customer Relations Management. From King of Customer Relations Management to King of Internet of Things. This is an outline of episode 553. There are three reasons we study Tom Siebel. First, he was King of Customer Relations Management. Second, he is now King of Internet of Things. Third, in 2019, he believes in mass extinctions of big companies is on way unless they adopt digital transformation. Let us meet Tom Siebel. That companies are going through a mass extinction event. I mean, companies are being, 52% of the Fortune 500 companies as of, as of 2000 are gone, right? They disappeared. And yeah. it's estimated as many as 70% might disappear in the next 10 years. And we live at the convergence of elastic cloud computing, big data, AI, and IoT. And you know, at, that, at, that, at the point where those converge, I think is something you call digital transformation. I was born in Chicago, Illinois in uh, 1952, and I am the sixth of seven children. My father the University of Illinois, where I studied history, history of science, and received a bachelor's degree from the University of Illinois in 1995. After um, uh, receiving a bachelor's degree, I got in a pickup truck and drove west and drove through Nebraska and South Dakota and Montana and stopped in Idaho and got myself a job. My first job was working on the Divine Ranch in Bellevue, Idaho. I was a cowboy. I uh, cut hay and baled hay, stacked hay, moved cattle. Then he returned to the University of Illinois at Urbana and earned a master's degree in computer science and an MBA in 1983. Then he joined Oracle and became an executive there. In 1993, he founded his company, Siebel System, and concentrated on CRM, Customer Relations Management. In 2006, Oracle bought Siebel in a hostile takeover of $5.85 billion. Now he is without a company. After the sale of Siebel System, he became a billionaire. Now he was gored by an elephant in Tanzania, Africa in 2010, which left him severely injured. And um, they then I airlifted to San Jose, California. 20-hour flight, they had 10 hours of morphine. So the last 10 hours, were, I took maybe all the morphine in Kenya and with me. And uh, it was, uh, the last 10 hours were pretty long. And the next three years, I had 19 reconstructive surgeries. In 2009, one year before he was caught by the elephant, he founded his new company, C3IoT. C3 started in an energy company starting the smart grid. Soon, C3 landed its largest customer, the U.S. Air Force, and uses its technology of Internet of Things to manage hundreds of aircrafts. Next, what is IoT, Internet of Things, and why is IoT powerful? That include, I mean, co computation and storage is basically free, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> everything is a computer. So IoT, I used to think about IoT being devices. Is that IoT is about the a change in the form factor of computers. In the future, everything's a computer. Your eyeglasses, your watch, your heart monitor, your refrigerator, your pool pump, they're all computers, right? And then we have the network effect of Metcalfe's law. Say we have 50 billion of these devices fully connected. Well, that's a pretty powerful network. Yeah. Now, these technologies in turn enable AI. They enable machine learning and deep learning. Hey, that's a whole new ball game. Okay, we're able to solve classes of problems with predictive analytics and prescriptive analytics that were simply unsolvable before in history. And the secret of SIBO's success, hire people smarter than me. What advice would you give the young entrepreneurs out there? Okay, become a domain expert in whatever, whatever domain you're proposing and what field you're going to enter, and then surround yourself with people, whatever job they're doing, engineering, marketing, sales, F&A, who are better than you at what they do. And to the extent that I've succeeded, 
this is why I've succeeded. Now this might be more easier for me than for others, okay. but, I, but I try to surround myself with people who are better than me. What have I learned today? Four things. First, Tom Siebel was king of CRM in 2000. Second, he lost his company to his former boss, Larry Allison, after a hostile takeover in 2006. Third, he came back strongly in 2009 and founded C3IoT. Now, at age 66, Sibo is king of IoT, Internet of Things. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Tom Sibo, 14 Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.